All right, here we are uh, talking about a stud wall. What are the components of a stud wall? So back here, you see that we have a bottom plate. The bottom plate supports the studs. The studs come up here and support the double top plate. On the, Riding on the double top plate are the ceiling joists. This is the definition of a load bearing wall. Right there, you can see the closest toward the top of your screen is a roof brace. Now that roof brace runs up in there and runs to what's called a purlin. Next to the roof brace, that roof brace is a two by four. Next to the roof brace are two two by sixes. One two by six is the ceiling rafter for this room. And the other two by six is the ceiling rafter for this room. So they're lapped together sitting on top of this wall. Why can't we take out this wall without supporting it from above? Well, once we take the wall out, the two uh, joists are just hanging out in thin air. So you can see what we do to correct that problem is right up in there is sitting our LVL, our micro lamb. Now I'm going to bring you over here and show you how we connect the micro lamb to the ceiling joists. The micro lamb's up in the attic above all the action so we can have places for our wires to pass through and then we use these joist hangers made by Simpson Strong Tie. The part number on these joist hangers is THA281. THA281, and that's a Simpson strong tie. It's called a lap or face mount joist hanger. You can see we use them all the way down here. They're about seven bucks each. So here we have nine of them, $63 in materials for just that piece plus nails.